What movie did you see when you were too young that scarred you for life? My dad thought it would be a good idea for me to watch The Shining when I was 6. The Fly, 1986. My young mind was not ready for that movie. I remember pleading with my parents to show me an R-rated movie on vacation when I was 7 or so. This is what they chose. If they were trying to deter me from asking again for a long time, they nailed it. Jeepers Creepers. But I think it's mostly due to the fact that my older brother convinced me it was based on true events. It's even scarier if you read up about the director, a real monster. I forget which one but it was one of the Final Destination movies. It was the one where there was a guy who died to a pool drain and someone died because their shoelace got stuck in an escalator. That gave me a fear of escalators for a while. I have a fear of big loads on highways because of Final Destination 2. That's the one where the log truck comes undone. Robocop. The melting dude got me bad. For me it was the part where they all shot up Murphy. I see it now and it's cartoonishly over the top. But I was about 8 when I saw it and I still have nightmares about Red Foreman shooting my balls off. I snuck in to see The Exorcist when I was 12. I didn't sleep for an entire summer. One morning, about 6am, a woodpecker or some bird got into our attic and was pecking and flying back and forth. I woke up my younger brother and sister, made them come with me to the attic door. I made them hold hands with me and say the Our Father. I was out of my mind. I'm sorry I laughed but that's adorable. 12 year old you handled that crap. Pet Cemetery. I still get a little freaked when getting out of bed in the middle of night for fear a crazy undead child will slice my Achilles with a knife. Mars Attacks. Same. I had seen violence in movies before but the ray guns turning people into skeletons freaked me out for some reason. Ernest Scared Stupid. Haven't watched it since. And won't. The Hills Have Eyes. That movie messed me up for a long time. That scene in The Mummy where the Beatles go under the skin ruined me. It's been a while so I may be remembering wrong. Also, not a movie, but there is a Simpsons episode where younger Homer finds a dead body and that gave me anxiety fits for weeks. I watched this way too young too, maybe 6 or 7, and my older cousin told me those bugs are real and they're in hot places like Las Vegas. My grandma was planning a vacation to Vegas shortly after that and I just remember being terrified because I'd never seen my grandma run before. I was sure she couldn't outrun those beetles. IT and Nightmare on Elm Street. It was IT for me as well. Couldn't walk past open drains for years. ET. My dad had to take me out of the theater. I was screaming and crying and my little heart couldn't take anymore. That's a rough one. James and the Giant Peach gave me my, ah, uh, rational fear of insects and insects inside fruits. I thought that movie was a fricked up dream for at least 8 years. My brother made me watch the first scene of Twister when I was 7. Didn't watch any of the rest of the movie after seeing the dad get ripped from the doorway in front of his family. I'm still terrified of tornadoes 20 years later, even though I live in a place that never gets them and have never seen one in real life. I will never be old enough to rewatch Requiem for a Dream. The older you get the worse it gets. The Ring. I was around 7 or 8 at the time and had never watched a scary movie before. Anyways made it to the end of the movie completely crapping myself. Used to sleep in my clothes, pee in jars and hide them in a drawer to avoid going to the bathroom late at night. If I was brave enough to make it to the bathroom I would sleep on the floor. Had an old TV in my room at the time that I would cover at night with a blanket lol this went on for easily a year then I started to get over the fear decided I was gonna watch TV one night flicking through the channels and what do I see? The ring too. So yeah seeing wells or TV static still sends a chill down my spine. I was 11 when I saw this. My dad had the nerve to call my friend's house right after we finished watching it. Scared as crapless. I was around 8 when I tried seeing the first Aliens movie. That first chest burster scared the crap out of me. Poltergeist. Weeks and weeks of nightmares centered around that thing that honestly looks like it was made from paper mash. And the skeletons. I was goddamn terrified of skeletons as a child. The scene where the guy tears off his face in the bathroom had me sleeping in my parents bed for weeks. 
The sixth sense really bothered me when I was about 8 and it came out. I had trouble sleeping for quite some time. Hey come on. I'll show you where my dad keeps his gun. I think it was in Scream where that girl got killed trying to go out the doggy door in the garage. I was terrified of garage doors after that. The sound of one closing would send me running into the house. The movie that tried to hammer the final nail into the slasher coffin and instead unleashed a new generation of young fans who completely missed the commentary because they never saw the thing it was commenting on. The Exorcist. When that bee turned her head around backwards it fricked me up for life. For me it was when she came down the stairs and puked blood. I was 9. Pan's Labyrinth. No idea why my dad thought a 10 year old would appreciate a foreign language art film. But that freaking creepy guy with the dang eyeballs in his freaking hands still haunts my nightmares. The first half of Stephen King's IT when I was 8 has scarred me for life. Even as an adult. I know that the film was laughably bad in effects, but I can't be near a clown without fight or flight triggering. Spirited Away. It's still one of my favorite movies, but the parents who turned into pigs scared me. It was Princess Mononoke for me. It's a cartoon. Dad said, you'll love it. The first time I saw Coralina I could not sleep in my room for weeks. Watership Down. I was 25. Oh god. Me too. We were visiting my uncle when I was like 10, and as a single adult man, he had no kid-friendly entertainment. The grown-ups put all us kids in front of this cartoon and went to play cards. OMG that movie is not for kids. 13 Ghosts. I watched it after it came out at a friend's house when I was probably 6 and had nightmares for literally years. I've heard that it's actually just cheesy and not scary but even now I can't watch it or even really think about it without feeling terrified. Something about it just really got to me and I guess even as an adult I'm still not over it. The Blob. The 1988 remake. Saw it at a sleepover when I was 10 or so. For weeks and weeks afterwards. Whenever I took a shower. I could imagine the blob coming after me through the show ahead or the faucet. That was an astonishingly well made movie, Imo. It was well constructed and legitimately terrifying. Not to mention they explicitly killed at least one kid in the film, which makes a small child think. Shaun of the Dead. I was 7, and when the guy got ripped apart at the pub god I couldn't sleep by myself for a couple months. Just go to the Winchester, grab a pint and wait for it all to blow over. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. The image of those melting faces is seared into the folds of my brain. For me it was the ritual scene in Temple of Doom. I cried and hid in my room when the heart was eaten. The name is Apocalypto. These tribesmen are taken hostage, painted blue, march through the city more like pyramids that this civilization lives in. They're taken up to the top of one of them to be sacrificed. Heads cut off and roll down the pyramid. Heart cut out. Once the gods were satisfied the rest of the people who weren't sacrificed are given a 100 meter head start. Then hunters shoot arrows at them and hunt them into the woods. Children of the corn. I made it halfway through the slaughtering adult scene and noped out with the hand down the garbage disposal. Have still never seen the movie. Signs. It was that alien invasion movie. A dog gets killed with a shovel. It was rated R. I was probably 5ish. And we had a teenage babysitter over. I guess she thought I was asleep. I have no idea. Traumatized the frick out of me. The part where they show the Brazilian birthday party and the alien walks across the screen still gives me goosebumps. The Killing Fields. My grandpa showed it to me to explain why we came to America. I remember only a scene where somebody threw a lit cigarette on someone who was buried to their neck and drenched with gas. I blocked that crap in my mind so quick. Good grief. Here's your heritage nicely packaged up in a terrifying film thanks gramps. Big hugs. B Event Horizon. Rented it from the old video store back in the day because it had Sam Neill in it. He was in Jurassic Park. Should be a fun time. Right? Number. Frick me. Still gives me the willies. Watched a Clockwork Orange when I was about 10. With my dad. Did not sleep well after that. Ghostbusters. 4 years old, Zuel is no freaking joke and I cannot sit in chairs that are in the middle of a room and not against a wall for fear of a demonic creature coming out of the fridge and dragging me away. 
That first ghost in the library still gets me. Even though I've watched it hundreds of times over the last 30 years, I jump out of my freaking skin every time. I thought it was named Creatures but I guess I'm wrong cause I can't find it when googling it. Anyways in the movie people got these eggs. Cause it was Easter. Yay eggs. Except they were alien eggs and hatched out creatures that ate people. Ate everything so you weren't even safe if you got off the ground. They'd just eat the chair and then you. In one scene a kid's egg was under his bed and hatched there and ran to eat the kid's limbs when they went off the edge of the bed. I'm 30, and only recently have been able to sleep with a limb hanging off the edge of my bed. I bet you can imagine how much this sucked in my early 20s when I'd drink too much and get spins. I'd reach to touch the ground. Cause it helps. Then panic cause maybe I'll get eaten. Silence of the Lambs. I was looking for something to watch, and found this VHS. Didn't know what it was. I was way too young to watch that movie by myself in a basement as a kid. One of the Chucky movies. I remember it pretty decently. I was pretty young and we were watching some other movie at the Cineplex when I had to go pee. My parents let me go to the bathroom by myself. This had to have been early 90s when parental supervision was still largely optional. But on the way back, I went into the wrong theater. Of course I didn't know that initially. But then I saw that ginger bastard sneak up and stab someone with a knife. Ran out of that theater in a hurry. Made me afraid of redheads and dolls for quite a while afterwards. The freaking brave little toaster. The air conditioner scene. Still gives me the creeps. The junkyard scene wasn't much better either. Chucky. I hate porcelain dolls to this day. They freak me out. Same. I'm over my fear of dolls now. A cousin helped me break the fear by explaining that even if the lil bastard doll was alive you could just stomp it to death. Then he had me beat the crap out of a doll. Really worked. Accidentally saw the exorcist when I was about 5. Snuck downstairs late at night while the adults were watching it. I had a loft bed and couldn't sleep for months because I kept hearing noises in the attic and seeing the possessed face in my ceiling. Full metal jacket when I was 8. That was intense. Dumbo. The scene where he gets drunk still trips me the frick out. I don't like the song too. Sorry not sorry. I see this one mentioned a lot, but Pinocchio smoking, drinking and transforming into a donkey was at least as good as nightmare fuel. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.